Hello guys, Heavy here, and today we're gonna dive in the rumors and leaks about the iPhone 17. I know the iPhone 16 just came out, but last year the same story repeated. iPhone 15 came out and people were already talking about what the iPhone 16 will be. Will we finally have the iPhone Ultra that people were speculating, which will be the highest end phone, even better than the Pro Max? Probably not, because honestly, I don't see the iPhone Ultra as a thing. But there's so many things that people were speculating that since it didn't happen on the iPhone 16 lineup, it will be on the iPhone 17 lineup. Maybe we'll finally have a new phone. But does this mean that the iPhone mini is back? Honestly, I don't believe that Apple will bring the iPhone mini anytime soon. Because, well, sales weren't that good and that's why we have the Plus phone right now but let's see what we know about the iphone 70 which we all know will come by september next year. the information i'm gonna present is from multiple websites but this is what we know so far so the iphone 60 may have just arrived but it's never too soon for leaks regarding the next generation of iphones and that's why iphone 17 rumors appear to be heating up ahead of next fall's release over on next Tipster Meijin Bu revealed that next year's iPhone 70 Pro lineup will be available in three new colors. Bu is heading their bets as they reported that Apple is thinking about a new hue for the next year's Pro models. According to Bu, the rumor shades include teal titanium, green titanium and dark green titanium. Of the three, green or dark green are probably the more likely colorways to make their debut mostly because Apple likes to keep its Pro lineup a bit separate from the standard N Plus models. Among the current iPhones, the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus offer a teal option. I will be so excited to have another green iPhone. Like, it reminds me, I think it was the iPhone 13 when they had this alpine green color in the Pro models. And also in the regular, they introduced this in spring. So it will be interesting to see if they finally make something with green titanium. I have seen uh, pictures, but honestly, it looks way too edited and unrealistic. But if it turns out to be something very similar, I will be happy. I might switch just because of the color. Like, I love green. Green is my personality. So we will say they had green last year. They have this year. Yes, in the base models. And honestly, my phone is still in good shape. And I don't plan on replacing it. But if they do this... With the green titanium, and I actually like the color because green is my favorite color, but it doesn't mean that I like every single shade of green. If they made the perfect green shade for titanium in Pro models, who knows? I might end up switching. Apple has four iPhones in their lineup. We have the regular one, the Plus, the Pro, and the Pro Max. So let's see what will be the lineup for next year. We are expecting four total models in 2025 the iphone 17 the iphone 70 pro the iphone 70 pro max and the new iphone 70 slim or air there will be no iphone 17 plus with apple doing away with the plus lineup the slim down iphone 70 won't be a replacement for the iphone 17 plus instead making a david as a new device in the lineup rumors about exactly what we can expect from the new iphone are mixed at this time but we can count on thinner iphone 70 with a display that's around 6.6 inches it has been likened to a MacBook Air with the iPhone 17 Pro serving as the MacBook Pro in the analogy. Because the iPhone 60 Pro and Pro Max will have 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch display sizes, the iPhone 17 Slim will come in right in the middle of those two devices in terms of size. Apple will also increase the overall size of the standard iPhone 17. While well, some rumors have suggested that the slimmer iPhone 70 will be high-end device that is even more expensive than the iPhone 17 Pro Max, other rumors have positioned it is a device that is between the iPhone 17 and the iPhone 70 Pro models. One rumor says you have a narrower dynamic island and centered camera, while another says you will include a single lens rear camera and center dynamic island. The rumor should become clearer as 2025 approaches. So, no iPhone 70 Ultra, but iPhone 70 Slim, iPhone 17 Air. We have an iPad Air. We have MacBook Air. So what now? iPhone Air? It sounds ridiculous as I'm saying it, but it's not like something like we have AirPods Pro. We also have MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, iPhone Pro. 
Maybe there's another Pro device that I'm kind of missing. Mac Pro. So it kind of makes sense. But to have it on an iPhone really feels a little bit ridiculous. But it'll be an interesting concept to see if this will actually get confirmed. I still think that people will continue buying the iPhone Plus and Apple might leave it for the next year. But as 2025 comes, we're going to dive in more rumors and see what actually gets confirmed and what doesn't. Let's talk about the design, shall we? The iPhones haven't changed much when it comes to their design, especially the Pro models for the past two to three years. But I will say that they're trying something new with the regular eye. You know, now the cameras have changed their positioning due to all the features that they can do. But what can we do with the next year's design? Multiple rumors have suggested that Apple is working on an all new version of the iPhone for 2025 with a device slated to have a significantly thinner design than current iPhone models. Early rumors suggested it would be a replacement for the Plus iPhone, but the information believes it will be a new high-end device that is in fact more expensive than the current Pro Max iPhone, which is priced starting at $1,199. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo disagrees with the information and says that the device won't replace the Plus, but it won't be higher end or more expensive than Pro models. For that reason, we don't know quite what to expect from the new iPhone, and we will have to wait for additional information to be released for clarification. Even though rumors disagree on specification, multiple sources agree that there will be a new iPhone and it will be thinner than existing models. So the information keeps spreading about this iPhone Air, iPhone Slim. Some people believe since it's a new device, it will be higher end, but the iPhone Pro Max, it's already expensive, it's already high and it has all the features that none other iPhone in the lineup has it. So what else can you add to the new iphone to make it even better than the pro models i don't think it'll happen because after all since i can be following apple for the past five six years like they always have like two iphones in the base model and two pro phones the pro and the pro max and they were the mini the regular iphone now we have the regular and the plus so i still believe they will keep the new phone into the regular lineup so they will be two to two but this is a personal opinion they might change this but as we see there won't be an iphone ultra one of the most important things for people when they're buying a phone is the display how fast it is and if it's a good quality the basic things what we should expect from the next iphone so the 120 hertz promotion refresh rate has been limited to the pro versions of the iPhone for several years, but it's 125, it could expand to the entire iPhone lineup. Rumors suggest that both the Pro and standard models will include promotion support, and that in turn will allow for always on functionality. Apple will use low temperature polycrystalline oxidite panels for all the iPhone 17 models, which is what enables promotion thanks to better power efficiency. Always on technology will allow the always on time widgets notification that have been available on the Pro models for some time now. Pro motion enables refresh rates ranging from 1Hz to 120Hz and at the high end the 120Hz refresh rates provides smoother scrolling and video content. So people who were doing the reviews and were complaining oh the 120Hz we want it only not the pro models but also on the regular might be satisfied now yes i have seen the reviews and i will say they complained but let's just say they still make a notice that the regular is 260 hertz not 120 so i understand where they're coming from but at the same time they're still using the pro maybe i should say the pro max devices so why are you complaining at this point yes there are people who might notice this and get the regular phones but these are people who don't need the best of the best and they're just a phone that has a good camera, works well, and it's not as pricey as the high-end phones. So I will say that they won't notice the 120 difference until they don't experience it, which eventually might happen next year. One of the reasons that people keep upgrading their phones is because of all the camera features that they have. There's so many battles between Apple, Samsung, Oppo, Xiaomi, so many phones. But which I phone has the better camera apparently apple says this every single year we have the best camera yet on an iphone they keep refreshing it. they keep adding more to it so what we should expect next year so all of the iphone 17 models are expected to have a 24 megapixel front facing camera with a six element lens 
which would be an upgrade over the current 12 megapixel selfie camera. A higher number of megapixel allows for more detail and cleaner images when cropping in. The iPhone 70 Pro Max is expected to feature a 48 megapixel wide camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 48 megapixel Tetra Prism telephoto camera, which will make it the first iPhone to feature three 48 megapixel cameras. At least one iPhone 17 model next year will feature a mechanical aperture that will let users adjust the size of the iPhone 70's aperture, changing the amount of light reaching the lens. Current iPhone models have fixed apertures, but a variable aperture will let images be captured with shallow depth of field. Basically, the best iPhone camera. Of course, you don't need to upgrade your phone every single camera because they did one extra thing compared to the last year's iPhone. And I'm sure that when it comes, they will find 10 million words to tell you the same thing in a different way to say, yes, we do have better camera than a competitor, the best camera on the iPhone. But if you think that having the best of the best camera and phone is your daily life because you're a content creator or just want to have it, yes, you should get the iPhone 17 even if it's not out. Okay guys, that will be the video. Hope you did. Comment down below what do you think about these early rumors about the iPhone 17. I believe that the more we get into 2025, the more rumors will start to appear. We will have even more devices. Yes, probably all the focus now is on the Apple's October event. If you happen, I already made a video about this. You can check it out. But yes, I'm expecting a MacBook with M4. I said it before. But it doesn't mean that I'm not hyped up to see what the new iPhones will come. I'm always excited when a new iPhone comes. Even though mine is in good condition, working perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with it. It's kind of exciting to see how they're evolving. Of course, I won't stay with my current iPhone for the rest of my life. One day I will upgrade. I don't know if it will be in 2025, maybe 2026 with the iPhone 18. I don't know. But as long as Apple keeps making iPhones, I will keep upgrading. Otherwise, I will stick with the phone that I have and just eventually might change the battery if it starts dying out using it for all these years. But that will be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button. If you like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye!